Apple has just announced another event on November 10th titled One More Thing. And in this video, I'm gonna explain why this is one of the most important events that Apple has ever hosted and why they could actually be making history. So before we get into that, I wanna talk about everything that you should be expecting to get announced or released. And I'll show you guys a bunch of leaks and rumors that point to those things, so let's get right into it. This event is 100% going to be focused on the new game-changing Apple Silicon Max that Apple announced back in June when they said that they'll be releasing the first of these Macs before the end of the year. Well, this event is precisely for that. They're gonna spend a good amount of time talking about the history of the Mac, they're gonna announce the release date of their new macOS 11 Big Sur, and then they'll reveal the new family of Apple Silicon chips based on the A14 Bionic chip, which will be going into some new MacBooks and future Macs. And we know we're getting MacBooks for sure because of Apple's AR invitation teaser for this event, which shows an Apple logo opening up like a MacBook. But before we get into the products, let's talk about the Apple Silicon Mac chips. If you don't already know, these new chips are gonna be replacing the Intel chips that Apple has been using for the Mac for many years now. So essentially, future Macs will be powered by the same type of chip that you already have in your iPhone or your iPad. Now there are a few benefits to this, the main one is that these chips use a much simpler architecture compared to the complex x86 architecture that traditional Intel chips use. Because of this, they get a huge boost in performance per watt, which leads to much better battery life and less heat output. Currently, even Macs like the 2020 MacBook Air have overheating problems and loud fans. And all of that is going away thanks to these new Apple Silicon chips. Now I'm not gonna spend this entire video explaining Apple Silicon, so I'm gonna link to our dedicated playlist at the end of this video, but just to give you guys a sneak peek, these new chips are gonna change the entire computer industry forever, starting with thin and light laptops that will eventually ditch the x86 architecture. This is literally history being made at next week's Apple event. But now let's get back into what to expect from these new chips, as well as which products Apple is going to announce, because there could actually be more products than just the new Macs. According to China Times, both Apple's A14 and A14X processors are already being mass produced at TSMC. And while we already have products like the iPhone 12 and iPad Air 4 with the A14 chip, Apple has yet to reveal the A14X chip, which is why we have the November 10th event. And based on our benchmarks, the A14 chip is extremely impressive because it's giving us the best single core performance we've ever seen in any computer and the multi-core performance is almost as high as the A12Z chip. But the shocking part is that the new four-core graphics in the A14 is more powerful than the A12Z's eight-core graphics, which shows us just how good this new five nanometer architecture is. And based on our own estimates, the new A14X chip has the potential of outperforming Apple's $2,400 16-inch MacBook Pro in terms of graphics power, which is absolutely insane. Now getting into the products, based on recent rumors, we should most likely expect two different Macs to be revealed and released at this event. The first one is rumored to be an entry-level MacBook that's meant to replace the current 13-inch MacBook Air. Now this could either be a revival of the 12-inch MacBook that Apple discontinued last year, or it could use the same body as the 13-inch MacBook Air, but they could simply just call it the Apple MacBook, and it's gonna be getting the A14X chip that will likely be rebranded with a new name. Now, I personally believe that we're more likely to see a 13 inch display compared to a 12 inch, and that's because the very reliable leaker Left to Dream just tweeted that we should be seeing two 13 inch MacBooks being released at the event. Now, the other 13 inch MacBook is, of course, the new 13.3 inch MacBook Pro, which might not have that many changes apart from having a new Apple Silicon chip. Now I believe that for this Mac, Apple is gonna be putting in a slightly more powerful or upgraded chip, 
potentially a 12 core instead of the 8 core A14X like chip that's most likely going into the other lower end MacBook. Or if they don't go that route, they could potentially give the MacBook Pro a more powerful GPU or extra hardware accelerators compared to the other MacBook. Earlier this year, Apple updated the 13 inch MacBook Pro, but they only gave the more expensive $1,800 model the new 10th gen Intel processors while leaving the base model mostly unchanged. This shows that the new 13 inch Apple Silicon Macs will be replacing the base model and Apple might keep the $1,800 model the same with the 10th gen CPUs until next year when they bring out the new 14 inch redesigned MacBook Pro with Apple Silicon. Now before I move on, I do want to talk about the leaks about this 16 inch MacBook Pro. Now I personally believe that the Apple Silicon version of that MacBook will only come out next year alongside the redesigned 14 inch model but there has been leaks and rumors of a final 10th gen Intel based 16 inch MacBook Pro coming out this year. We already have some leaked benchmarks of a 16 inch MacBook Pro with a new Intel 10th gen chip. And if they are true, that means that Apple could be releasing it this year. And the only time that makes sense is if they release it before the November 10th Apple Silicon event. So what I'm trying to say is that there's a chance that we could be seeing an updated 16 inch MacBook Pro as soon as tomorrow, but there are no guarantees. And on top of that, there's a chance that Apple could put out one more final iMac Pro with new Intel Xeon processors, and most importantly, big Navi graphics sometime before the end of the year, but we're just gonna have to wait and see. Now to make things even more interesting, Harker Tech found some code in a beta version of macOS Big Sur that points to three Macs being released in 2020. Now we know two of them will be the new lower end MacBooks, but the third one could potentially be an Intel based 16 inch MacBook Pro or that iMac Pro, or it could actually be the rumored Apple Silicon 24 inch iMac. This new iMac has been rumored for months, and while the 27 inch iMac got updated this year, the 21 and a half inch didn't get updated, so we're most likely to see the new iMac with Apple Silicon replacing the 21 and a half inch model. What makes it even more interesting is that there is rumored to be a new A14 T chip and a dedicated Apple GPU being made specifically for this new iMac but a lot of the rumors are pointing to it only coming out next year. So there's a chance that Apple could either announce this iMac at next week's event, but set the release date to next year, or they could just ignore it and not mention anything about it until 2021. Now beyond these new Apple Silicon Macs, there are a couple of products that we should expect to see as well. The first one is Apple's new AirTags and the leaker John Prosser is very sure that we'll be seeing them announced on November 10th, saying that they're on schedule for release alongside iOS 14.3, which is supposed to be coming out this month. And we should also be seeing a leather keychain carrying case for AirTags as well, which is pretty cool. There's also the chance that we could be seeing the release of the new AirPods Studio over ear headphones, which John Prosser leaked a few weeks back. Now, apart from all of that, there is still a very small chance that we'll be seeing Apple announce a new 12.9 inch iPad Pro with the new A14X chip, since it would be really weird to show off the A14X chip, but not release the iPad Pro like they usually do. But on the flip side, most of the leaks are pointing to a release of a new iPad Pro next year, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So there you guys go, hopefully this video helps you guys understand a bit more about what we should be seeing next week at Apple's event. And if you're excited, go ahead and click the circle above because we're gonna be buying those Apple Silicon Macs, testing them, comparing them, and everything like that. So definitely subscribe and check out our Apple Silicon Mac Explained playlist right over there. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.